Right, there's a side quest there. Okay. Could also check if anybody wants to do battle. Well, we'll start in the school store, I guess. and I'll get you what you need. Oh, these are the proverbs. I need those to make the, the one proverb. Oh, and these are the peckies. Studying. Hey, Reen. Oh, hello, Randy. Are you teaching military studies? Well, yeah, Sydney was about to head out. Uh, geez, he's still got potential. Kid, sh uh, kid shouldn't give up so easily. I was planning on studying some more tonight. I just figured I should relax uh, for a bit first. He's lying. Better just give in. He's offering to lend you a hand. Just say yes and be done with it. Fine. Randy, uh, would it be alright if I helped too? You may be able to get a... Uh, may need to get a little rough with Sydney. Sounds great. <laughs> Why do these things always? I gave them advice on military studies. Let's go down to the... That's Sydney. I've already challenged him and bodied him. Uh, I feel like I've already played Randy. Uh, nobody here. Not only is nobody here, but nobody is here. Interesting. Actually, that was a mistake. I needed to go upstairs. I was wondering, I was like, why isn't there anything here? That's you. Here we go. Here's the roof. Alright, you have a side quest. Valerie. Uh, what are you doing here? Is there a problem? No, I was just wondering why you weren't studying for the exams. Everyone else has gotten together and started studying their weakest subjects. Must I do the same thing as everyone else? Besides, exams are for measuring your average knowledge. You cram, uh, cram the day before, it's not a proper measurement. Well, I suppose, but... I thought that Valerie had opened up a little when she first got here. But I guess she's still as aloof as ever. Oh yeah, you joined the Modern Music Club, right? How's that been going? Oh, that reaction says it all. Are you having some trouble with the club? Let's say I am. What does it matter to you? I'd appreciate it if you quit crying into my personal matters. Got nothing to talk to you about with you about. Is that so? Teacher, I can't let whatever problem she's having continue. I'll talk to the other members of the, her club, Pablo and Gustav. Gustav. Uh, Gustav was in the, uh, whatchamacallit. We'll track him down. Hey, Pablo. Hey, Instructor Reen, can I help you with something? I wanted to ask you about Valerie. Did something happen in the Modern Music Club? Music Club. Oh, that. 
I got into a pretty big fight with her. We haven't talked since. How did it start? I asked her to be on vocals. Vocals? Aye. Uh, she never sings in front of people. But I've heard her uh, sing to herself a few times, and her voice is just too good. So I asked her to take over on vocals. Even just once, you know? Uh, she wasn't having it, though. Uh, I got a wee bit pissed. And the next thing you know, we were going at it. See, I know she doesn't want to be in the spotlight, but I just think it would it would be such a big waste of talent if she didn't. Uh, I know I went overboard myself, though. Problem is, I can't figure out how to make things right. Yeah, I'm gonna talk with her one more time. Can you wait a little longer? Doctorine, cheers, I appreciate it. Now let's see what's going on. I should go to Gustav next. Monsieur Gustav. Gustav was in this particular section of the school, I believe. <laughs> hey, Gustav, can we talk? Dr. Ring, what is it? I wanted to ask you about Valerie. I heard she got in a big fight with Pablo. I wasn't there when it happened, but yeah, it seems so. And Valerie hasn't shown up to practice since then. Somehow I knew this wouldn't happen eventually. Why is that? Well, Valerie... Valerie's the kind of person who shies away from the spotlight. Not because of her personality, but more of her upbringing. Oh? Valerie's always seemed to carry herself like a noble. Sometimes, she almost reminds me of Musée and Tatiana. Yeah, I got that same impression from her. Nobles are extremely rare in North Ambria these days. I wonder if she grew up being resented by those around her. It's possible. But this is all just speculation. Good point. I need to ask her about it directly. Thank you, Gustav. It was big help. But don't mention it. I didn't actually do much. I think I've got a better grasp of the situation now. I should probably talk to Valerie again. Alright, let's butt into your personal life. Dr. Schwarzer. Schwarzer! Are you still here? Yeah, I talked with Pablo and Gustav. I think you should find a way to make up with Pablo. Such a busybody. Well, if I were, were just a normal or if it were just a normal argument, I wouldn't step in like this. But it seems like there's something you've been bottling up. Bottling up? Yeah, I'm sure you'll deny it, but you, uh, you want to be on vocals more than anyone, don't you? That's not true. Well, sorry if I am being a busybody, but you're from a noble family in North Ambria, right? But what if I am? Just that, if that were the case, I can imagine the circumstances you must have endured. Well, you're not wrong there. Back in North Ambria, or yeah, back when North Ambria was still a dukedom, the nobility system was still in place. After the North Ambrian disaster, the government was remade and the, no the nobility abolished, though they kept their wealth to some extent. In a poor country like ours, children born into wealth and comfort were, of course, victims of envy and spite. Mallory. On top of that, I have another secret. The truth is, my family is related to the former Grand Prince of Northambria, Balman. Former Grand Prince? I'm sure you know the story. You're a history teacher, after all. Grand Prince Balman, the traitorous ruler who fled Northambria during the disaster 28 years ago. Apparently, any family with connections to him is a family of devils, mine included. How could they say such a thing? I came here intending to keep that a secret, but I don't care anymore. Anyway, it's probably best uh, you not get involved with a devil. But please, instructor, just leave me be. I can't do that. Niffle and sob. <laughs> Sniffle. Valerie, how come you didn't tell me sooner? Just no fair for someone who's done nothing wrong to be treated like that. Hey, how long were you two there? Or here? Uh, we were here pretty much the whole time. Sorry. Pablo and I were just worried, though. School's just full of busybodies. But fine. I'll let you two know as well. Nothing good will come from associating with me, so... Don't be daft. Yeah, hearing that stuff, uh, even made me angry. Family of devils? None of that matters in, in the world of rock. Aye, come to think of it, it might even come in handy. Rock's all about the soul. Your upbringing doesn't have anything to do with it. 
Here, Valerie. It's a boot time. I quit bottling it all up. Take those emotions and light a fire to them. Uh, let them blow right up. What are you talking about? You gotta pour that into your music. Uh, he means they want to play some rock music with you now. Alright then. Uh, I'll go get the key to the art room. You get me, Instructorine. Hey, what are you... Mess is over? Nope. How did it end up like this? No use whining about it. Yeah, you gotta do it. I know, I know. Screw it. Brilliant. Your music was almost entrancing. I'd say it was pretty darn close to the professional sounding. Uh, flattery won't get you anywhere. No need to be shy. That was a, uh, that was a square thousand times better than any lyrics that'll fall. Uh, oot my gob. <laughs> oot. <laughs> uh, so from, na from now on, you'll be focusing on vocals. Is that right with you, Valerie? Fine, whatever. I guess it's too late for me to back out anymore anyway. Secret's out now. Does that mean you agree to it? Yeah, I give up. Yes, get in there. I get the feeling things are only going to get more fun from here on. Better be a character note for, for Valerie. Alright, good. Okay. Uh -oh. That goes to the branch campus. Love how. Expected all of this. Hmm. Could be some stuff in here. I don't want to talk to the doctor yet, but they may force me. Seems like everyone is under quite a lot of stress. You as well, Ring. It appears you're being pulled in a number of different directions. Well, that's being an instructor for you. Right. So. I think I've gotten... I guess I didn't go to the... The Academy Field, although I didn't see anything there. Oh, hey, it's that guy that we helped out. Frankie. Equipment check. Check. And a report to Mr. Celestin. Oh, Instructor Ring, good day to you. Hello, Frankie. You seem to have been working hard lately. But I guess when you're Celestin's assistant, every day is like that, huh? Yeah. Each and every day ends uh, with me reflecting on my work. But lately, I feel like I've gotten a little used to it. I even have more energy than I used to. You see, he's able to keep up with Celestin. He's definitely got some talent. Well, I'm glad to hear things are going well. Just keep at it and don't give up. Understood. Thank you. Surprised nobody's been caught back there yet. But double check Ein Hill Keep. Could be shenanigans here.
Heck, no shenanigans here. Alrighty, let's start the first one. Actually. Hmm. Let's do Ash one first. Ash, Stark, don't you need to study? What, you think we're just doing this for fun? We're actually using chess pieces to review military science. Oh, I see. We're doing military science. Both of them scored high in that class. That being said, maybe I'll join them since I have the chance. This reminds me of when I was in school. Would it be alright if I joined you? Sure, that'd be great. Sounds like a good way to kill time, at least. If you have any questions, I'm all ears. In that case, can you analyze uh, this field exercise question? Let's see what the topic is. Using a mid-sized troop to support and siege. And how to move them efficiently. Okay then, let's start the lecture. You're really getting into this, Instructorine. Don't try to make this into another class. I can't help it, so please bear with me. But here's the real question. Let's look at this from before our main troops hit the enemy's main troops. It's a siege battle, so we need to hit the enemy from behind. You can have your support troop either deploy right behind the enemy, or have them take a long detour to hit them from afar. From those two options, which would you choose? I'd get them from behind, obviously. The longer you... Well, I don't want the Texas way down there. Uh, the longer you take, uh, the more likely you are to get caught. Well, that is true. What do you think, Stark? Let's see. I think both, both ans answers are wrong. Darn it, I didn't even notice. It wouldn't make sense for the support troop to engage before the main troops do. You got it. Dirty trick question. Uh... So I think the support troop should make their move while the main troops are engaged. And once they are, the support troops attack from right behind the enemy. Yes, precisely. precisely. Having your support troops take a long detour is a waste of time if the main forces are already engaged. So yeah, that should be all for this question. Hope that was helpful. It, it was really helpful. It was a great lesson. Alright, bring on the next question. I'll get it this time. Right, here's another. Come up with a few more questions. After they answered, they would be they would analyze their choices. Those things in red there. Those were some some dangerous stuff. You gotta wait for your enemies to be engaged, and then you go to do battle. All right, we'll we'll do the. Uh, also, why is tower listed on here? Is tower important for some reason? Like, I don't see Randy's portrait anywhere. You see this week's Imperial Chronicle? Not yet. Something interesting in there? Yeah, they wrote about the main campus's field exercises. I see. I'll have to take a look. More than anything, we should be focusing on the exams. They start after tomorrow. Blah, 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 blah. Wait. Oh. I, man, I thought I could challenge Tower for a second. Like, oh my goodness. Alright. Um, I can skim through it. So we got some more uh, black records. Goes through. The, this is the new one, right? The trade conference. So I need to find the new one. All right, so Kurt, uh, I'll I'll do a uh, uh, whatever her name is, uh, Altina's. Well, let's see what they're talking about first. Wait, hold on a second. 
Hold on a second. Challenge Altina? I'm gonna have to bring the ruckus right now. I'm gonna have to bring that ruckus. Hold on a second. Did I see that right? Tina and Luis, are you guys studying here? Yes. We're reviewing music for the art class exam. Means there will be a listening portion of the test. We're studying for it outside so we don't bother anyone. Oh, I see. Art is quite a difficult subject. Factual questions are fine, but I can't handle subjective ones. I actually have a harder time remembering all these dates and names for the factual question. Help each other out, Allie. Yes, please. True that questions that require opinions or emotion are difficult for Altina. Maybe I can help her. Ah. Oh. Well, that was weird. After I talk to them, I can't challenge them. Let's see, let's see if uh, I can fix that. All right, I'm pressing R2 and nothing is happening. Interesting, this must be a bug. Very, very interesting. Make sure. Um, so I'm actually gonna make the executive decision here. Um, I am not going to go with Altina because, like, I, I don't know what the bonding things do, and it's probably better for me to do bonding stuff with the people that I actually have a lot of uh, progress with. I don't have a lot of progress with Altina. So we're going to hang out with Kurt, and then we'll go do Muse uh, last. Looks like you two are reviewing political ethics. Indeed, unlike the uh, or unlike other subjects, this one incorporates current events. We thought we could uh, study by reviewing set events. Unfortunately, all of these new terms are rather confusing. I've just spent the whole time asking Kurt questions. Sorry for keeping you from your own studying. Not at all. Explaining these concept concepts to you is an excellent method of review for me. Please don't worry yourself. You really are a great guy. It seems to be doing fine, but I might be able to help out here. Is it alright if I join you guys? I'd like to try uh, try out a quick economics quiz on you two. See, sounds interesting. Sure, alright. Uh, alright, let's start with you, Kurt. What is it called when uh, the market as a whole is down, but one stock is high? I believe that's isolated gain. Good job, that's correct. Your turn, Wing. What is it called when the market rises and falls drastically in a short period of time? Violent waves? Almost, but not quite. The term is violent fluctuations, correct? Exactly. D. Next question. Either of you can answer this. What is the term for financial gain generated through ownership of an asset? That question stump even you, Kurt. I've narrowed it down to two candidates. Do you happen to know the answer, Wayne? I'm not completely sure, but a term did pop into my head. Is it capital gain? Capital gain is generated by selling assets such as stock for more than you bought them for. Mixing these two up, uh, two up is a pretty common mistake. In that case, is it income gain, perhaps? Exactly. That was a tough one, but you got it. Uh, no, it was simply process of elimination this time. Even so, good job, Kurt. We're both from Heimdallar, but you're so much better uh, at this than me. Oh, you're from the capital too, Wayne. Yeah, though, te uh, though technically, there was a short bit when I was elsewhere. But anyway, I'm thankful uh, Kurt's here. I pale in comparison to you, whether it's studies or practical skills, but someday I'll definitely catch up to you. I'm flattered to hear you say so, however... 
I will continue to hone my skills as well. We've got quite the spirited relationship. After that, a few more quiz questions were given out to help Curtin Wayne study. All right. The moment we've all been waiting for. You say. You say, you say. Moose. Are you two studying physics? Looks like you're making good pro progress. Actually, we're having a hard time concentrating. I'm sure that if you helped us, we could make even more progress. I almost thought you were being serious there for a second. You say never changes. Both get good grades, uh, so I shouldn't have to worry about them. But that's still no reason for me to not help out. Well, if it won't distract you, I can help. Then it's decided. Thank you. Judging from your notes, you probably don't even need my help. Though, Tatiana, you may have made a few careless mistakes. Sorry. I wasn't criticizing you. We're both still having some trouble with one of the more recent concepts. The variables of that affect trajectory. Rotation and air resistance cause trajectory to deviate. Dr. Michael is already teaching you that, huh? Yes, but we're having a hard time grasping it. Especially, uh, especially the precision effect. You'll be able to teach us about it. It's actually hard for me too. When a, ro when a rotating object, in this case a bullet, is hit with an external force such as air resistance, its trajectory will deviate. A bullet rotating to the right will sway right, and a bullet rotating to the left will sway left. At the very least, just remember that. Or just remember that. To be honest, that's the extent of my knowledge on the subject. B. That's still helpful. It's hard for me to answer questions outside of my speciality. It might be better to ask Dr. Michael. Does that mean you're abandoning us? Would you be able to help us a little more? I feel like you're really good at breaking things down to make them easier to learn. Well, when you put it that way, I can't refuse. He even looks cute when he's struggling. After that, Reen taught the two uh, physics using the knowledge he gained through experience. I didn't get any red questions or whatever. All right. Well, that's all that. Let's see. Let's go to the hangar first. We'll talk to the top dog principal uh, last. I want to hear about these uh, what's going on here. Are these the remains of the white Aeon? I was able to get a decent, a decent sample. The sample is better than the ones from Sutherland and Crossbell, but it will still take quite some time for me to analyze it. Is that so? I mean, its abilities uh, were intense. Spatial annihilation, moving the railway cannons. It's safe to say it's the culmination of the society's Gordius class. The last I heard, its development stalled out two years ago, but we may need to revise our understanding. In any event, your Itachi has been repaired. Uh, check it out to make sure it's as sharp as you remember. Okay, thank you, Professor. To be honest, uh, I thought it was going to be the end of me. I was somehow able to endure it with that mana blade thing. It was probably some mana feedback that went through the Divine Knight, but it's not reliable. Don't expect it to happen again. Yeah, you're right. Anyway, thank you very much. That wasn't as exciting as I was hoping it would be. Can we do uh no. Alright. The other moment we've all been waiting for. You can talk to these two real quick. Why is all this Empire history stuff so tricky for me? You get any of this, Leo? Uh, I can help you with Crossbell stuff. I'm all set when it comes to stuff about the ocean, but anything else, and I'm a lost case. I get that it's important to know history so you can learn from it, but do we really gotta memorize all these names and dates? I feel like my head's about to explode. Seems like they're cramming uh, for their history exams. They look pretty focused. I wish I could help them out, but I don't have the time right now. We got more books. Oh my gosh. Oh 
Oh my gosh. It's been a while since I investigated these, uh, these here books. It's been a hot minute. All right, now the moment. Wait, it looks like all the students are studying hard. The scores will be ranked individually as well as by class. I wouldn't mind seeing our students do better in those in campus. Yeah, that'd be nice. All right, now the moment we've all been waiting for. What are you doing with glasses on? I'm gonna even save. Just in case she's like, ah, oh, Schwarzer. Let's do a, a mock battle real quick. I know you're ready for it. You never know with Aurelia. There we are. Oh, Principal Lequin, you wear glasses. That's a little surprising. Well, actually, for some reason, my vision is unusually keen. I can see everything in excruciating detail from up close to a great distance away. Sometimes I find myself getting annoyed by specks of dust floating in the air. So to combat this issue, I commission these glasses to suppress my vision. That's somehow not surprising at all. All that's left to do for the exams tomorrow is to leave them to the students. Is there something you'd like to ask me about Ouroboros, perhaps? Yeah, so you knew. What are your thoughts about the report that the Jaegers and Ouroboros have been pulled out of Erebonia? I'd certainly recommend taking it with a grain of salt. The uh, Ions, the Black Workshop, there are far too many unseen forces at work here. Yeah, I agree. Regarding the Maiden, we've reached an answer of sorts, for better or worse. Huh? You definitely called upon her full power when fighting the two of us. But what if there was something more to her, something beyond the power of a human? If she's out of the picture for good, then that's fine. Otherwise, we need to be ready for her. And by we, I mean all of you. Understood. I'll definitely keep that in mind. Hey! Oh, Sans Cape! I can't believe it's already this late. This guy looks kind of strange. I need to prep for the exam before I head back today. Once I'm done with everything I need to do, I'll head back to the faculty in the lounge. Out of curiosity. So she does show up. I guess she kinda kinda looks like uh Aryan Road. Kind of. Man's cape. I actually like the cape. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, hold on a second. You know what? We're fine. Reen looked over the exams for tomorrow and saw the students off campus. After one final check to make sure everything was locked up, he prepared to head back to the dorm. Looks like it's only sprinkling, but still, I'm glad I brought this umbrella. All the students are gone now, so maybe I'll... Oh no! I didn't think it was raining this hard! Tawa, you're supposed to be prepared all the time. That's... Tawa. Oh, Rain! Was it your turn to lock up today? No problem. Here. Do you need an umbrella? We can share mine. It, it's okay. It's not raining that hard. Either we share the umbrella, or I hand it over to you. Whichever you prefer. Th that's not fair. You're not giving me much of a choice. Fine. You win. We'll share the umbrella. Just don't get your shoulder wet from trying to give me more cover, okay? No worries. After all, you're so... My, 
Hi, I wonder what you were about to say. <laughs> Used to be so much more straightforward and innocent. And now you're giving me impossible choices like this. You've grown up, but in a bad way. Sorry. But knowing you, you gave your umbrella to a student in need. And then lied to them about having a spare so they wouldn't feel guilty. Were you watching? No, I just knew you wouldn't uh, forget to bring an umbrella. And it started raining so suddenly, it's an easy situation to imagine. You're banned from making weirdly accurate guesses like that too. Green, you're still only 20. You could stand you could stand to be a little more innocent. Even though we're colleagues, don't forget I'm still a year older than you. Got it. But I think going through all that or going through all that changed me a bit. Nothing, sorry, let's head back. Or did you need to stop by somewhere first? No, I'm fine going straight home. The political economics exam is with Vice Principal Heinrich from the main campus. Yes, his expertise was a big help in making the exam. You're in charge of history and combat skills, right? Yeah, I worked with instructor Beatrix uh, and one of the new instructors at the main campus. It seemed like they were just as uh, maniacally busy as we, uh, we were. I suppose it's no wonder after Principal Van Dyke and Instructor Thomas both left. But Instructor Makarov and Instructor Mary are still there and giving it their all. But this really brings me back. Two years ago, Instructor Sarah and Instructor Nightheart were uh, there giving exams too. Yeah, seems like just yesterday. Feels like all the recent government policies are really putting a focus on the military. Nevertheless, it's reassuring to know our old instructors are still at it, doing everything they can. That's true. Yeah, I'm gonna have to work hard to catch up to them. By the way, Angie and George are both back in Erebonia now. Oh yeah, that's right. Are they both in Ruhr right now? Yes, I believe so. But they must, uh, but they must both be busy. Can't get in touch with either of them. Ooh. Thinking about those two makes me a little jealous. Clear how much they mean to each other. Well, sure, but... Oh man. He just had to tug on these these strings, man. George isn't really Angelica's uh, type, right? Then again, considering the way they looked uh, dancing together by the bonfire after the school festival. Well, they've known each other uh, a long time. Maybe I'm just reading too much into it. But still, I can't help but feel like their relationship is a little different from just two friends. The difference in their social classes might be a problem to some, but if something did happen between them, uh, I'd be the first to congratulate them. I think Crow would have felt the same way. Yeah. He'd probably congratulate them, then tease them relentlessly. He would do that. Green, you know you don't need to worry about your family or, or that masked person all on your own, right? All you need, or all you ever need to talk, or if you ever need to talk, uh, you've got not only old Class 7 and Instructor Sarah, but the members of the new Class 7 as well. And of course, I'm always willing to lend you an ear too. Now, do you happen to know about my father? Yeah, a little bit. I didn't hear it from Class 7 or Sarah or anything like that. But judging by Major Claire's behavior, I can make a guess. I see. Oh. Looks like it cleared up. Wow! You see the stars shining so clearly now. Yeah, maybe the clouds all got blown away? <laughs> Thanks for helping me out. Reminds me of when we went shopping together as students. I 
Wow, it feels like ages ago now. That was when you helped me figure out what to do for the school festival. Mm-hmm. And then I showed you the video of our concert from the year before. Oh, wait. Let's just forget about that. <laughs> Well, I doubt I'll ever be able to forget the sight of you in that outfit. Uh, Rain, you're such a meanie. But jokes aside, can we talk more sometime? I'd like to tell you some things. Things like my father, about what happened at the Infernal Castle, and about what happened after you graduated. I want you to know the whole story from start to finish. This feels like Tao's gonna die. I'd love that. You can't kill off Tower. Never gonna happen. All right, exam time. What you got? Or not. Uh, the next day, I saw the start of the four day long exams for both Thor's main campus and its branch campus. Caution do not go past this line. In the events leading up to the War of the Lions in 1947, which prince declared himself the next emperor following the assassination of Crown Prince Manfred? Would be... Oh my gosh. I don't know the answer to this! Let's see, we know of Dreykel's. We know of Orthros, kind of. We know of Lucius. We know it's not Dreykel's. Let's go with Lucius. Not sure about this one. Well, I, I, I'm i a teacher. I'm not supposed to, to answer these questions for the students. One of the following statements about the effect of gyroscopic spin on bullets is true. Just as Instructor Reen taught us. A uh, bullet spinning clockwise screws right. Bullet spinning clockwise screw, screws left. Clockwise is this way, which is right. Easy. Easy. Looks like our school's not gonna do so hot though, because I missed the question. I say, where's the teacher? Who's the most efficient way of moving a squad during a siege battle? This is just like uh, the practice Schwarzer had us do. What a riot. Alright. While engaging, attack from behind. Obviously, it's this one. Who did I waste a point on Kurt? Kurt didn't give me any any assistance. Maybe we'll find it out here. Or didn't give me any red questions or whatever. What is the term for profit generated via selling stocks and bonds? Dr. Reed went over this with us yesterday. Um, income gain. That's not it, which means I wasted too much time on that one. Aw, thought it was income gain. Guess I did pretty poorly. I didn't save beforehand. 
Part of the exam will be a listening test. Give a name to the song based on what you hear. What kind of question is this even? I'm gonna go with Broken Wings. I think it sounds kind of somber, but it's not, it's not like grand fear or a lurking shadow. It's not upbeat like look to the sky. I have absolutely no idea. Oh well, whatever. Well. What is that? I got like, what, two right? Or was it one right? I got two right out of, what, five now? Life is hard. Should have got the Kurt one. During a disaster, ensuring a source of clean water is imperative. Which of these is the correct order to create a water filter? Left is the lowest layer. We learned this from Instructor Reed not that long ago. Feeling all that confident. to be able to narrow down the answers. Can't afford to get this wrong. What a pain in the butt. Fuck off, oh, I don't, I don't know. All right, uh, during a disaster, ensuring a source of clean water is imperative. Uh, what is the correct order? Create a water filter. Sparkle. Uh, sand is the the like. Well, sand is last. We're gonna use uh, test logic here, and we see that there are two options with sand at the end. Therefore, sand has to be at the end. Um. And uh, it should be biggest. Biggest should be wait. Left left is the lowest layer. So if we're pouring it on sand and. Pebbles and charcoal and cloth. I'm having a really tough time picturing charcoal in this scenario. But uh, at least I'm gonna go with this. I don't think that's right. That's a week of exams came to a close without incident. Some of the students felt unease at the thought of their scores. Most revealed a sense of freedom that can only come after exams are over. By the principal's decree, a special class was held that afternoon to allow the students to relax and celebrate the end of their exams. Swimming? <laughs> Not a bad view. <laughs> Don't forget, we are still in the middle of class. Instructor Reen! Please help me work on my swimming form. Muse? Hey! Why are you trying to drag him into the changing room? Forty Arch. This time for sure. <laughs> what a nice little pool party. <laughs> Agreed. Everyone sure is lively. <laughs> I'm sure they need to unwind after how hard they all worked. However, if we're calling this a class, there should be some semblance of structure to it. Or perhaps... A competition. One we can only hold here. I have some ice-cold drinks available for any parched throats out there.
Uh, with the festive post-exam mood in the air, Green and Class 7 deepened their bonds with each other, or with the other classes. Eventually, Aurelia arranged for a competition between Green, Randy, and Michael. As the competition reached its fiercest point, the special class came to an end.